Hey everybody, I'm back another update of what's happening here in Southern Utah. And today I'm back here in Washington uh, where we get to hear from Jared Wheeler that's putting together the Siena Hills Auto Mall. Uh, this place is gonna be super awesome. He's got a lot to share with us. Uh, so let's get right to it. So I'm here with Jared Wheeler, who is the guy behind this insanely cool project we have going on out here. Um, I've actually known Jared for 20 years. We were just talking. It's crazy. And uh, it's awesome to see you doing big stuff like this. Thank you. So, thank, first of all, thanks for having us. I know it's a busy time right now because you guys have a lot going on here. Sure. So, uh, give us a little bit of a big version. Well, that's actually, who are you first? And then we'll get into the auto mall. Sure. I guess first and foremost, most people know me. I own St. George Auto Gallery. So the whole project kind of came about Washington City wanted an auto mall. It's kind of funny if you look at tax revenue, uh, car dealers yeah. produce a lot of tax revenue, Massive. right? It's a big ticket item and cities kind of do well when they get more tax revenue, right? So they wanted to get some car dealerships out here. Uh, I've been looking at auto mall sites for a long time and this was kind of perfect. So that's kind of how it started. I'm in the industry. Uh, first time developer, if you want to call it that. I've learned so much doing this project. It's been so fun. Um, but the overall view was, yeah, we wanted to bring some luxury brands here, brands that aren't here. Uh, if you have a Porsche or you have an Audi and you got to go to Vegas or Salt Lake to get them serviced, that doesn't really help anybody. Right. So we wanted to keep that local, uh, get it, get the city some sales tax revenue and be able to sell some nice cars out here. Awesome. So that was kind of the vision, I guess. Love it. Yeah. So, so then big picture, what is going to be here? So big picture is, you can you can look at our website, I know that you'll probably plug that, but yeah. we have a lot of brands that are invited, and how how this works, just just for your viewers or whatever, it's, it's a little different. You don't just get to say, hey, we want to have Audi come to St. George. There's a manufacturer behind Audi, right? And they have to approve a dealer to come to a specific market, right? So how you do all this is you have to have a big market study done. You have to commence it. You have to see uh, what the market penetration is going to be. Uh, how many cars do they project to sell? And then based on that information, they'll say, yeah, the market can sustain this brand, right? So a lot of the work that has gone into this whole project three years, I was telling you uh, yeah. before, uh, a long time. A lot of it is the market study analysis and finding out what our communi community can support. And everyone knows how much we're growing, so it's been kind yeah. of fun and it's hard to prove the data. Honestly, most of the census data or anything you look at that's normal generic growth patterns kind of aren't adequate for what's happening. You know, it's, yeah. it's kind of a weird thing. And I was gonna, that's what I was gonna ask was, I know a lot of people, probably doubt that we're big enough sure. or, or why, you know, what, what is the justification mm -hmm. in some of these brands coming here? You know, with Highline, it's a lot different too. You know, I don't mean to keep referencing things we talked about, but Highline's a little different. Uh, actually, the car industry in general is different, right? With online sales and, and especially yeah. with Highline, uh, you want to have the local market, you want to be able to have service to be able to handle it right and have the customers come to you, but you also sell all over the place. So when these brands are looking for opening a new point, one big thing they look at is who's the talent person going into it, you know, uh, who's going to run that store, who, who's going to take it to that next level. So they, they analyze all that data, they care about that, so that kind of helps. With our growth, uh, a lot of these brands, uh, you know, you take someone like Ford or Chevy, you have so many different line makes, you have so many different models, yeah. you need so many cars on the ground to represent that adequately, yeah. right? You take someone like Land Rover though, uh, they don't have as many different models. So you don't need as big of a, a dealership, you don't need as many uh, cars on the ground to right. represent it appropriately. So it's, it's kind of an interesting thing. Then you kind of look at the gross medium income, the housing prices, and right. St. George is kind of booming in those senses, yeah. right? <laughs> oh yeah, it so is. It, it's it's been really interesting. It's been fun. I've learned a lot myself. It's awesome. So today in March of 2022, what can we expect to see first? What I know there's a first domino mm -hmm. that's falling. Well, uh, uh, yeah, I'm proud to announce we we just closed on the first six acres. Uh, Finley is going to be represented out here. They're moving their Hyundai store uh, to a four acre pad, and then they're gonna, their intention is to, to attach Genesis to it, which is their Highline version of Hyundai, right? Their okay. luxury brand, right? 
So when, we're, when we are considering different dealers or different brands that are coming out here, the, the main thing is we want high tech or high line, right? So anyone in the electric space that's really pushing or advancing Hyundai's doing crazy things with that. Genesis is totally rebranding their entire uh, customer experience. You know, we're in such a fun time in my industry because so many manufacturers and dealers are learning uh, the customers don't like to be sold the old way, right? Yeah. So they're all oh, yeah. developing kind of these new new strategies and, and a more customer experience uh, uh, focused sale instead of just like, hey, you're dealing with the car salesperson, right? Right. So when we designed this, uh, our architect uh, does a lot of the dealerships here in Utah. He just finished the Lamborghini Bentley store up north, beautifully designed and we really designed this so you could have kind of a shopping experience. Instead of, you know, kind of the older way as you go and you get harassed by a salesperson, you don't really like the whole experience. Yeah. With all these different dealers we're bringing in, they're at the cutting edge of, of who they are and, and how they do their process is a lot less salesy and a lot more experiential, right? So you'll be able to, uh, shop, our intention I should say, is to be able to shop BMW, Audi, Land Rover, uh, whatever brand that you're thinking of getting into the luxury market, and you'll have a more carefree shopping experience here instead of feeling so high pressured and, and having yeah. to go to one place and then you know, kind of getting attacked or whatever you want to call it. You yeah. know, in my industry, it's kind of funny, but for sure. Um, so we got meandering sidewalks. All the dealerships will be connected with a big walkway, so you can walk across all of them, check out all the different line makes of each manufacturer. You can test drive them and come down on a Saturday and have a good time. You know what car shopping should be, right? You should enjoy that experience. Oh, yeah. It shouldn't I, it be should stressful. Be. No, yeah, it should yeah. be awesome. <laughs> right. But that's what I like about a lot of business uh, because of different especially with COVID and everything, uh, pe businesses had to change mm -hmm. and, and we've always had to adapt, but if the, the experience for any business now, it's the same with restaurants. If you have a good, if you, the business, the restaurants that are thriving are the ones where you have a great experience. It's right. not just going to get food. Right. And I feel like that's the same thing with the car industry mm -hmm. and with Tesla and with some of these that, mm -hmm. are, that are changing the, the landscape of that. Mm -hmm. um, I think it'll just be better for the car industry in general. Right, no, 100%. So. And, and it's the ones that are figuring it out, how to adapt, are the ones that are thriving. That are gonna and the it, ones yeah. that are kind of clinging on to, to the, old uh, the, the old way are, are struggling a little bit, you know? Yeah, for so sure. it's, it's kind of, it's been really fun. You know, this whole project has been, it's been a it's lot awesome. of fun. Well, cool. Well, I'm glad to see the first one go down. Mm -hmm. uh, I look forward to hearing as the dominoes continue to fall. Sure. Uh, we'll, we'll keep updated on it, so yep. appreciate it. Yeah, so uh, just so everyone knows, and for you to know too, if you guys want to follow the progress, we're setting up all the different social medias, you know, in this modern day, right? Cool. So if anyone wants to keep track of what brands are coming or what we can announce, it's kind of weird. We have another five acres that are going down to a brand. I really wish I could tell you right now. I told you <laughs> earlier, but you got to keep it a secret. Uh, yeah. uh, I think people will be really excited about the different yeah. uh, line mix that are coming. So Absolutely. yeah, follow follow all our different stuff. I'll give you the links to it. Yeah, so that cool. way you can keep track and, and see the progress. We'll be moving dirt. That's one thing I didn't get to say. I'm super excited after three years, uh, within three months, we'll be moving dirt. Uh, the sign that we have out here that's been for the Sienna Hills complex this whole time will be getting moved down. We're going to be building uh, a really awesome modern sign, huge LCD screen. It's it's really sick. Uh, nice. I'm sure you guys will pan to that, right? Sweet. But, yeah, we're pumped. Good I'm stuff, I'm ready to get man. this thing going. Heck yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Well, cool. Well, we'll be back in touch soon. Okay, sounds okay. good. Thanks, guys. And that's a wrap, guys. As you can see, this place is gonna be awesome, and I look forward to seeing the progress as it continues. For more info on what's happening here in Southern Utah, you can call me or text me, 435-668-7293, or find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Instagram. Thanks, guys.